Earlier today, the NASDAQ 100 hit an all-time high. And I bring that up because uh, and, and, since September of 2002, it's up 860 percent. You know, we talk about the markets every day, and we sort of watch it myopically, which is what we do for a living. But by the same token, that is a reminder that buy and hold can work as well. Exactly. And I think a lot of people really need to keep that in mind because we're talking about these exciting things like IPOs and how can I make money quickly. But when you look at this over a longer term period, those are astronomical returns where if you just owned a whole index and held it over a long period of time, you're going to do great. Gary, what do you see this market going from here? What's what's we've had a heck of a run. It's been somewhat stealthy, slowing a little bit, but it feels like the market's waiting for something. What is that something? Well, I, I don't know about waiting because all I know is since uh, the beginning of January, the market, uh, I think it had two pullbacks of four and seven days. So I, I think it's darn strong. But you ha I just don't look at the market. The healthcare stocks are crashing. Uh, the financials are really starting to uh, get a lift here. That news out of J.P. Morgan was darn good. The semiconductors have skyrocketed. So it's a matter of, uh, you know, knowing the right spots. For me right now, I take a step back because all the earnings reports are coming out and I'm seeing some I'm seeing some bad ones uh, gap up. I'm seeing some good ones uh, gap down. So for, for me, it's going to be more about the reaction over the next two or three weeks. So I'll get a better a feel. Couple, but but it's been strong. On a couple of things you just talked about. Okay, healthcare is sort of a unique situation, right? Isn't that directly related to Bernie Sanders? I, I think uh, it has to do with the fact that the market is worried about government taking over. And I got to tell you, it's not just uh, any health care. It's everything. They're destroying the managed care, drug stocks, medical products companies they're even going after right now. There is a big worry about how much money these companies can make going forward. And the interesting thing, if that even happens, we're two years away. That's right. how worried uh, uh, the market is about it. Courtney, coming into the week, only 29 companies reported. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are seeing a pattern, and it was, it's been repeated so far this week. Yeah. Big beats on earnings. A lot of companies, to Gary's point, though, missing on revenue. Does that matter to you that the revenue lines are still somewhat questioned or challenged? There's a couple things that I look at with this. Number one, earnings are coming out, but the banks are looking really strong. And you like I that as a proxy for our economy also? Or exactly. Just, okay. I see that as a good proxy for a healthy economy. And then if we look at this on a global scale for a second here, we're getting a lot of really good data about China and a potential trade negotiation here happening maybe in the next couple of weeks. So, yes, we're getting some mixed reviews on earnings, but also on a global scale, we have some really good data. And the fact the banks are doing well is also positive. So, yes, they may um, kind of struggle along as we just get all that data out and have to think about what it means. But I think long term, it's a really positive information we're seeing. All right. Courtney, Gary, thank you both very, very much. You appreciate it. it.